Welcome to another installment of my video series, Think More, Shoot Less. Today we'll be covering how to process your own 35mm black and white negatives at home. Let's get started. There's going to be a blog post to go with this on my website, DaveRollins.com, that will cover all the equipment that you need to get started. It's about $120 for all the equipment that you need, or around $300 with an Epson scanner. Here's a brief overview of all the equipment that you'll need. You're going to need a daylight development tank. I highly suggest the Patterson 2 reel or 3 reel tanks. You're going to need a changing bag to load your film into the tank. You're going to need developer, which I highly suggest Rodinol. You'll need rapid fixer, such as Ilford Rapid Fixer. You'll also need some sort of chemical safe bottle to hold your fixer. You're going to need 50 milliliter graduate or a 5 milliliter measuring spoon. I've also been using a measuring syringe that I got at a local drugstore. And a 1000 milliliter graduate, funnels, and a bottle opener. Alright, let's dive right in. First step, you'll need to load your film onto the reels in a changing bag. I'll pop the canister open with a bottle opener and tear off the film leader. From this point, I'll go ahead and load the film onto the auto-loading reel. I've removed the ball bearings from my reels and I just use my fingers to keep the film moving forward. Second step, once you've got your film loaded into the reel and into the tank, we're going to mix up our Rodinol at a 1 to 50 dilution into 75 degree water. The amount of chemistry you need will change depending on the tank size that you're using. So for my 3 reel tank, using regular inversion, I need 1000 milliliters of water, so I'll put in 20 milliliters of Rodinol. Now you'll mix your Ilford Rapid Fixer at a 1 to 4 dilution. For Ilford Rapid Fixer, to get 500 milliliters of solution, I'll mix up 100 milliliters of fixer and 400 milliliters of water. For 1000 milliliters of Ilford Rapid Fix, I'll mix up 200 milliliters of fixer and 800 milliliters of water. Pre-wash your film with a similar temperature water and do some inversions for one to two minutes before developing. Pour in your developer and develop for the times listed. In this case, I'm developing T-Max 3200 at the box speed of 3200. Close the lid thoroughly, make sure to press around all the edges, and then I'll lift one slight edge while pressing in the center to create a vacuum seal. This will help prevent leaks. In this case, the times listed for Rodinol 1 to 25 dilution at 68 degrees also work the same for 1 to 50 at 75 degrees. The reason I use this dilution and a slightly higher temperature is because it uses half the amount of chemicals but keeps that same short development time. Here are some development times for Rodinol. I've listed the various times for Ilford HP5 so you can see how the time differs based on what speed you're shooting your film at. Agitate your film by doing 2 to 5 inversions every 30 seconds. An inversion is when you turn the tank completely over and I'll also rotate the tank as I'm turning it. Slap the tank after your inversions to dislodge any bubbles. Pour your developer down the drain. The next step is to pour in your fixer and agitate using the same inversion process we discussed before. Using Ilford Rapid Fixer, I always process for 5 minutes. Be sure to pour your fixer back into the tank for reuse. When fixer is exhausted, be sure to follow your local toxic waste guidelines for disposal. Fixer cannot go down the drain. 
From here, we'll rinse our film using a modified version of the Ilford washing method. You'll fill the tank, agitate using the inversions, and dump. I'll do 10 inversions, dump, fill it, do 20 inversions, dump, fill it, do 30 inversions, dump, and from here we're ready for our wetting agent. A washing agent will help keep water spots off your negatives. I always use distilled water for this process because it has no minerals or anything in it to cause those water spots. I'll put in two drops of a wetting agent. In this case, I'm using LFN wetting agent. Agitate for one minute and dump. Now we're ready to hang our negatives to dry. Some people suggest that you squeegee your negatives. I never do this. I always suggest developing at night so you can allow enough time for your negatives to dry and cure. So here's a quick recap of all our steps. We need to load our film onto the reels in a changing bag. Once we get them on the reels and into the tank, we can remove the tank from the changing bag and we're ready to develop. We'll do one to two minutes of pre-wash. We'll then pour in our developer that we've mixed up. From here, after we've developed for the proper amount of time and done all our inversions, we'll dump out our developer and pour in our fixer. We'll fix for five minutes and be sure to do our inversions during that process. Pour your fixer back into the chemical safe bottle that you store it in. From here, we'll do our Ilford washing method. After that, we do our wetting agent with distilled water for one minute. Then we hang our negatives to dry. Once you do this a couple times, you'll really get the hang of it and it's much more cost efficient to develop your own film at home. I hope this video helps you process your own 35 millimeter black and white negatives at home. Now here's the hard part, creating a compelling image. Check out my scanning video to see how I scan 35mm, 120, and 4x5 negatives, and stay tuned for my next video on color development at home. Remember, think more, shoot less.